Hello YouTube, this is a quick comparison between Juki uh, DX2000 and Zinger Quantum Stylist 9660. I'm not, uh, it's not about the specs, it's about the things that you cannot find in the specs and the differences I couldn't pick out through online reviews and videos that I watched. So these only things we found out when we actually used these machines for a while. Uh, so here we go. Uh, the first one is the cover. So both come with hard cover, uh, but Zinger one is a bit fiddly. So when you lift it up, it goes up nice and smooth. Uh, but let's say you use the machine and you want to put the cover back on, it won't go. It will hit the handle. So uh, you cannot leave the handle fully, it will hit it again. So you actually need to know to raise your handle under, handle under the certain angle so it will slip into this cutoff, cutout and when you put it in yes, no, I, I hit the cutout so it goes in well uh, with Juki, it's a full cutout so you just raise your handle you see it actually falls down automatically, doesn't stay up but it's going up and down like that, no feeling Another thing about the cover is the storage. So Zinger has a small storage here. I'm not sure what you can really put here. Maybe some scraps of fabric and small bobbins. I can put a manual maybe inside. And uh, with Juki, you have a big compartments here. So you can pull, put in your pedal. You can put your knee lifter and the manual. It all goes in. So it's a, there is a space to put the power cable here as well. So it's a self-contained. Um, box basically you pack it all up and you can go to the workshop and come back um, the manual again uh, the manual here is purely black and white a5 um, well written by the way it's good, good instructions every time something doesn't work we just go back to the manual and read it again and it has the stuff uh, QVP uh, sorry for Juki is pure a4 it's, it's much better printed. It feels like a good magazine. It's black and white, but it has these white attenuations on the things they should put attention on. So, for example, when you see how to thread um, the machine, you see the red dots show how to follow your thread. So, it's really easy to follow um, visually. Before we move on, um, another thing is about the pedal. So, the Zinger pedal. Uh, it's very simple effect. It's not the Zinger. It's made by third party, uh, third party Wakaho Electronic Industrial. It just doesn't save on Zinger. It says electronic. Uh, it works. It's uh, you know have no complaints. It works fine. But the cable, you know, you need to wrap it up around it and it becomes tangly. So uh, this Juki, uh, the Juki of course has its um, has its own pedal. It's uh, dual action. Has a heel action. But that's fine, you know, that's in the specs that you can read. The fact that you don't read in the specs, that it has that really nice cable storage. So when you need to connect the pedal, you unwind it, you plug it in. And when you're done and you need to uh, move it somewhere, you just wrap it back. And this is a really nice touch, that storage button. And just click it there and it becomes all nice and organized. Like those really small things that makes a difference. Uh, so let's move. Let's move inside. Here one thing we noticed is uh, when you need to pop up the bobbin cover, you press the button and then you have to have, you know, I, you see I don't, I'm struggling with my nails to pick it up and my nails are not that short so I have to really kind of pry it out. And uh, yeah, it's a bit fiddly. So if you have shorter nails, you'll probably need a tool. So uh, again, once you pull the button, it kind of jumps out, but but then it becomes too low and you need to pry it out. Um, this Juki is just a joy. You press it and it stays up. I can literally lift it without any nails. Very nice. And another thing is an organizer. So we look at the zinger if we open the toolbox, it's a bit of a dumpster with everything inside, so you have all your spools and um, and bobbins and needles all kind of together in one um, pile. Uh, with Juki, 
uh, it's actually an organizer so you have the space for your most commonly used feet uh, for your bobbins and if you lift it up then here is your uh, buttonhole foot all ready to go when you need to um, another thing that is hard to pick up from the videos is the way they sew and I will only talk about it because again it's really hard to explain it on the videos but Juki is very smooth it's like zinger goes it does good seams it, it, it works it's like it, like it works fine uh, but the whole experience of using that you know if you've been into power tools and used you know Makita and Ryobi they both work but Makita is smoother they, they feel more solid more robust so it's kind of the same difference so zinger works but it's all a bit you know, a bit shaky, a bit squeaky, a bit rattling. Um, and again, the seams are nice, but the whole experience is a bit shaky. And Juki is just very smooth. It goes, it stops. It's You have this smooth, nice experience of literally well-oiled machine, and um, pun intended. Um, another uh, thing about Juki, um, and that's in the specs, so that, it, that it has automatic... Uh, um, a foot that can be lifted automatically uh, and we tried several other machines that have the same feature uh, we've tried um, uh, Janome uh, Skyline S7 and we've tried Burnett uh, B77 and they all, uh, they all have that pivoting functionality when you um, when you stop basically when you stop sewing it raises the foot and I'll connect my foot pedal to demonstrate it Yeah, so when I'm starting to sew and I stop a bit, it lifts. Yeah, sorry, so the pivoting function is basically you press the pedal, you sew, and when you stop, it lifts it up and then you pivot and then pivot a bit more. You can even give like a single click, uh, like a single kick to the foot pedal, it will do just one uh, stitch and stop. So, like one click and it stops. So uh, many machines do that, but we tried Burnett and we tried um, uh, Genomi and they do that as well, but they do it slowly. So like with, uh, with both of them, it, fi it finishes the stitch to put the needle in and only once the needle is fully stopped, it raises the foot. So if you sew in dolls uh, and you need to have, and you have the tight curves all the time. So basically all you do is, is you stitch and pivot and you stitch and and pivot all the time and with Genome, uh, Genome and Burnett it just takes twice as time because it takes a long time to raise the foot and so the, the, the raising process itself particularly on Burnett is like slow it raises the foot it like raises the foot here it's snappy I just go boom it's up boom it's up it's like very quick um, and Janome and Burnett again it just takes X time and it feels like you can do the same it's the same speed as you would have done manually uh, so again Zinger doesn't does that uh, doesn't do that that's in the specs no complaints Zinger is also half the price of the uh, Juki DX 2000s so it's different machines but I'm not saying which one is better of both uh, or worse they're in a different uh, price categories it's mainly to highlight these small you know features that are not in the specs and to highlight how well Juki does uh, the foot lifting uh, despite Burnett and uh, Genomi Skyline and 7 being in the same price range as this machine so if you need the rapidly uh, lifting uh, of the sorry if you need a machine that can rapidly lift the foot for doing all those intricate pivots so far we prefer this one. Thank you for watching and I hope you'll find this helpful.